and welcome back to another MT Markets training video. This one's entitled MT Markets Create Your Own EA for MT4 and I'll go into what an EA is a little bit later on. Uh, keep in mind this is an introduction and there's plenty more information available either on our website right here at mtmarkets.com or wherever it is that you're viewing this video whether it be YouTube or on our website. If you've got any questions about what's covered in this please feel free to give us a yell and our details are right here on the contact us page on mtmarkets.com. We'd love to hear from you. Now this video of course is following on from the last one that we did. Um, hope, hopefully the audio is a little bit better than on the last video. Um, the last video we did was entitled Intro to Expert Advisors for MT4 and it's also available wherever it is that you're viewing this particular video. In the future I'm hoping to bring you some more of these uh, and if you've got any suggestions or any ideas on what you'd like to see covered uh, specifically around trading Forex and MT4 then um, then pop your questions wherever it is that you're viewing this video or give us a yell right here at uh, MT Markets we'd love to hear from you. Okay so let's get into it. If you um, oh, so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to build an expert advisor and it's quite a quick process um, all the tools here we're going to use are all free and uh, and and very easy to do actually. Now it's only a simple expert advisor. Of course, you know, really, you can make these as complex as you like. For those of you that haven't viewed the previous video, an expert advisor is basically an automated trading program. It needs to run within uh, your client terminal. So because we use MetaTrader 4, it needs to run within the MetaTrader 4 client. And what it will basically do is trade automatically for you. So depending on the code that you put in here or the rule set that you put in here, once that rule set's met, uh, this program, this expert advisor, will basically trade for you. And what, uh, what once we've finished this expert advisor or this EA, we'll actually um, uh, we'll actually put it into the terminal, the MetaTrader 4 terminal. We'll show you how to do that, and then we'll run a simulation and see how well this would have done over a period of time which is always really interesting to uh, do and I always recommend if you build an expert advisor always do that so okay let's get into uh, into building this thing so if you go into Google and you do a search for expert advisor builder for MetaTrader 4 you'll get to this website now there are plenty of people out there making uh, tools and programs to do all this uh, but there's this really great website right here which is free and it's got a nice little interface and it allows you to build pretty good expert advisors. It won't allow you to build incredibly complex ones. Um, for that you'll need uh, you know, maybe a, a slightly better tool. But for very simple strategies and, and really to test concepts out, this is fantastic. And more importantly, it costs nothing. So let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable. You'll see why I'm creating that variable in a minute. But just before we do that, let's tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a very simple strategy that looks for the demarker to go above 0.3. Whenever the demarker goes above 0.3, I'm going to execute a trade. Now I'm only going to build the buy, uh, the buy leg of the trade. I'm only going to build. This is only going to do buys. It's not going to do sells. Um, but the sell is exactly the same concept. Now let's actually see the demarker. There it is there. So for example, this is going to, the strategy would have bought at this point here. So for example, uh, when this demarker has crossed 0 0.3, okay, at this point here, this will do a buy. And I'm going to turn it off after it's done a, a couple of hundred pips. So it'll probably turn, would, it would turn the trade off around about this point here. Uh, let's see if there's another example. Here's another example. It's probably not a, a great one, but it'll keep going for a while and turn off around about here. If it misses that one, it does this one. Here's another one. Uh, here's another example. Here's another example. Now, not a great one, but another example of where the demarcus crossed 0 0.3 and, it's, and the price has gone up. It doesn't always work. Uh, you know, I think this one back here is really a pretty good example of one that doesn't really work. 
Uh, but you know, like or like all things, if you can get uh, seventy percent of success out of this methodology, it's working really well. So let's go back to the website and let's build this thing. So I'm going to create a variable called zero point three. Actually, it's not called 0 0.3, it's just going to be a variable with the value of 0 0.3. So all I've done is ticked on add, I've gone and selected number variable, I'm going to give it a value of 0 0.3, and that's done. That's my variable. That's the only variable I need, and actually we don't even really need that variable, but um, I, I want to show you variables because they're pretty powerful, you can use them for a lot of things. Now, as I said, we're only going to buy. We're only going to build a buy strategy. So, we simply click on the buy tab. We click add, and as we said, it's going to be a demarker strategy. So, we need to look for demarker. We're going to look for, you know, the buy strategy when it's above, and we're going to use that variable. on it. So, what have I just done there? I've selected the marker. When I did that, this came up. So you just leave the symbol as current. So that'll just mean it'll use whatever symbol you, you put this on, this EA on, whatever chart you put it on. So it might be Euro USD or odd USD, whatever. Time frame, whatever you currently he's got the chart set at, it'll just run that. that so it allows you to try different time frames. Period 14, that's just the, the technical settings for the indicator. And now this shift is actually quite important. This is a particular candle. So a shift of zero is the current candle. A shift of one would be the previous candle, etc. So we want to look at the current candle. We're looking for the demarker to be above that variable of 0 0.3. There's the variable there. We've only got one variable to choose from. Now I'm going to add another leg to this. I actually want the strategy to only kick in at that particular point so when it actually crosses I don't want it to do it here or do it here or do it here you know anything above zero above 0 0.3 I want to do it when the previous candle was below 0 0.3 and the current candle is above 0 0.3 so that's what I call that the cross the crossover so let's go back to the expert how do we do that well we just tick add again Okay. Now notice this is an AND, so it could either be OR or AND. AND means it's going to be this AND this set of rules, which is exactly what we want. So demarker, but this time it needs to be below. We need to sh shift it back one candle, and we're going to use that variable again. Right. And we're now done. That's pretty much it. You've got the ability here to put a sell strategy. So the sell strategy would be pretty much the same as this, but it would use a different variable. It would use another variable, 0 0.7, and you would just really reverse these around. Uh, that's what the sell strategy would look like. Now we can put a close in there. So for example, we can say, you know, if another indicator did a certain thing, we want to close, and it would is exactly the same concept. Uh, but we're not going to do that today. We're just going, because we're limited on time, we're just going to do a very, very simple uh, close strategy. We're just going to, do, this is a generic. We're just going to go into, uh, we're going to check for this each tick. Our trades are going to be one lot. We're going to have a slippage of three, three pips, which just leave that as default. Now, this is where we put our stop loss and take profits in. And this is what we're going to use to close the trade. So let's look for a stop loss of, say, 200 pips. Let's look for a take profit of 300 pips, and let's just look at a trailing stop at, say, 100 pips, and that'll do. We've now finished our strategy. So if we now save, if we, do a complete, if we click on this little complete button, it'll actually save it to our computer. Okay. And now if we click on this save, it will actually give us a um, it calls it a template file 
what this template file allows us to do is to go back into this at a later date and actually load it. So it'll actually bring all those settings straight back in. It's fantastic. So now that we've done that, let's go into our file manager. Should have actually had this up for you. I'm saving everything into my downloads directory. If we go down to the bottom here, okay, we'll see it. Source file. And all we need to do is click on that, press Control C on your keyboard to copy it, and then put it into our expert advisors expert directory. Let me show you where that is. I'm recording obviously. Our programs file. Now this one I'm using um, uh, who am I using? I'm using uh, these guys. Right, here we go. So and then you'll see a directory in your in your client folder you'll see a directory called experts. And all you do is you control V, paste file in there and you're done. So now when we go to our terminal, let's actually test it. So the easiest way to test it is to go to strategy tester. When you do that, now just keep in mind when you load that, when you put that file into that direct, you actually have to restart your terminal otherwise you might not see it in here. There's the expert. I'm going to run it on the Euro USD and I'm going to run it from the 15th of the 10th to the 28th of the 10th, so it's a two week period. And let's test it. So this take a, usually takes a little while to do. There we go. We're already seeing results. Let's go to the chart. It's finished. Okay, not a bad little EA. Um, that's taken a $10,000 account to $11,539 in two weeks. So that's not bad. Um, it's uh, about a 15% increase in your funds. So that's it. I have, uh, we have showed you how to build your own expert advisor. We've briefly showed you how to load that into your, uh, your NT4 client terminal. And we've also showed you how to run a test and then to test that EA to see how well it would have done. And of course, if you're not happy with the results, you can always go back to this program or this website and you can always reload it and modify it. You might want to change your, you know, your stop loss or your take profit or you might want to change your strategy or you might want to try it with a sell strategy as well. So that might be a next step to see if you can try that and successfully build one. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you have any other questions, please post them wherever you're viewing this video. We'd love to hear from you. Any ideas for future videos, again, please let us know. And, um, and if you've got any other questions and you'd like to give us a yell, please feel free to do so right here at mtmarkets.com. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the video. And happy automated trading. Cheers.